This is my home. I choose to make it my home. I think it drives or drives especially with what I'm about to talk about. Now, I watched this guy by the name of Tony Vera on YouTube. I'm a very good judge of character. I'm a very good person or very good judge, excuse me, that is. Of judging people when it comes down to certain things the thing I pick up about him is he lacks intuition number one he lacks the requisite ability to be able to understand something called nuances which is why he's not really a good judge of character for instance he was quick to assimilate back with that woman Peggy Kane after Peggy Kane basically showed her his true colors. He's not a very smart man. I'm just gonna say it bluntly like that. He's not very smart. It's not because of how he talks either. Even though how he talks is a glimpse into his um, lack of consciousness and intellect. I'm just gonna keep it straight. Keep it real, keep it 100%. And I'm gonna say something about Peggy Kane. If I ever see that bitch, I knock the fuck out of her. I don't like her at all. I really don't like her. Yes, I do live in my van. If I see that bitch, I would knock the fuck out of that land and throw that bitch right back into the motherfucking Pacific Ocean where she belongs. Because there's something very, very seedy and underhanded about her. I don't believe she really gives a fuck about the homeless. She's a fat land will bitch who does not get any attention whatsoever. And she's using the homeless situation as a way to try to get attention and make herself big because she was never anything in life. That's the sole purpose, the sole reason behind why she's pushing that whole homeless agenda and why she's so preposterous with it to the point where her fucking position is impossible because you just can't have motherfuckers setting up shop any fucking where they please. You cannot fucking have that. That's unreasonable and it's highly fucking illogical. And that's the shit that she's trying to motherfucking cape for. Now, with that being said, I want to go ahead and tell a story about where I live, which is in Malibu, concerning the homeless situation, why you got to clean that shit up. Now, I myself live in my van. I choose to live in my van. My van is registered. I'm getting my shit together. You know, I'm getting back on point. You know, I've been doing a lot of healing work on myself. I'm a spiritualist. I'm a witch natural witch at that you know i have great spiritual abilities it's just that i'm being kind of hampered when it comes down to money by archons you can go on my website toplessinla.org you know where i basically talk about that at full lane it's a long fucking story you never ever ever want the fucking archons to go up against your ass ever they are hard and they are extremely tough to get off your ass you know just last night as a matter of fact for instance um i was able to get something out of me and then you know, I felt like a change for a minute and then all of a sudden shit just kind of fucking reverted back. I, you know, I got to try to fucking fix that. But I'm doing very, very well. Now, with that being said, talking on Tony Vera here, well, talking on the Malibu situation, Years ago, back in 2018 and 2019, the situation with the homeless out here, with people parking their fucking RVs right on the public easement, you know, which is like the public right away, the public uh, freeway where you can make emergency stops, very similar to, to that, where that truck is passing through right now. It got so bad to the point where I love it over here because there's nobody fucking around. It got so bad to the point where people who needed to make emergency stops on the freeway to ride away could not make them due to so many massive fucking RVs occupying fucking space on the freeway. So the people had to righteously come down and they had the right fucking laws 
because you just can't have motherfuckers parking wherever the fuck they want to park at. Me and another guy, he was from Chicago. We both concur with each other. Now, I'm going to say this for the record. I'm from New Orleans, but I've been living out here since 2008, and it wasn't up until 2016 that, you know, I had apartments. And I lost my original apartment, which to me, look, I'm going to tell it to you like this. I think the idea of having an apartment is stupid because you're on borrowed time. The minute you cannot make the rent, your black ass, your motherfucking ass, whatever the fuck you is, you are out. You are out that motherfucker. So you are practically home homeless living on borrowed time if you live in a fucking apartment and you're renting. Or if you live in a home and you're renting. If you do not own and if you fucking rent, you are practically motherfucking homeless. You can argue with me how you fucking like just because you live according to the fucking system, how the system define it as, does not mean that you got your shit together and it does not mean that you are not homeless. You are homeless in effect. My parents in Louisiana, they own their home. They are not homeless. They had a mortgage that they had to pay off. They are not homeless. I own my van. I am not homeless because I choose to live in my van. You know, I'm not in the fucked up ass situation where I'm like groveling. <laughs> I've got to get back on the system and, and pay somebody and fark over unnecessary one thousands of thousands of dollars per fucking month just so I can have a hobble for a home and a space for a home no bigger than the fucking closet that I got at public storage. Get the fuck out of here. Stupid. It's mad fucking stupid. Now, anyways, I'm looking at one of fucking Tony's videos. Now, we all know I'm the fucking woke master. We all know what I mean when I say I'm the woke master. <laughs> I put fucking black magic curses on motherfuckers. I had one motherfucker the other day who I saw white supremacist motherfucker used to come up to me and fuck with me, you know, and uh, hypersexualize me and everything, uh, you know, because he was judging me based on, uh, you know, because I'm a shirtless rights activist. Oh, you know, your, your website says topless in L.A., you know, expecting me to be some fucking giddy giddy you know, fun time gal and all that other shit, man. He got another fucking thing coming. I took his soul out of his body. In other words, I did the Shane Soon woke, as I call it. That's a Mortal Kombat character that snatches people's souls. And next thing you know, the motherfucker was barking like a dog and he acts animalistically like he has no sense in him whatsoever because I fucked his ass up by putting something in him <laughs> and taking out his soul. That's why you don't fuck with a witch. And I'm very skilled at it. I'm very skilled in black magic. Extremely skilled. I can just look at a motherfucker and put something on him and possess their ass. Now, getting back to the main point of the video here. I'm watching fucking Tony Vera. Pushing that they can't swipe these people shit. I'm going to tell you something right now about homeless living on the fucking streets. A lot of those motherfuckers are drug addicts who choose to live on the streets in part because they fucking druggies and they don't want fucking rules. A lot of them are fucking alcoholics. Now, your boy, because he's kind of fucking slow. Look, look I'm just going to keep it 100%. Tony is slow. Tony is mad motherfucking slow. He'll try to argue and say that. Well, you know, I'm not saying I'm homeless, but, 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 but motherfucker, look. At the end of the fucking day, look. Motherfucker, you need to open up, if you got it, your fucking third eye, number one. You need to open up your access to the dimension, the realm of intuition, because you ain't got fucking got it. You don't understand something called fucking nuances. I don't care how much you proselytize that you fucking do and that you're not for homeless who are blah, 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 blah. You don't fucking understand. Many of those motherfuckers are drug addicts. Many of those motherfuckers are alcoholics. And the shit that they call that they amass is their so-called personal property. It's not, in fact, actual fucking personal property, but it's shit that they get out these motherfucking trash cans, these dumpsters over here, and accumulate a huge fucking pile, even though they have nowhere to fucking go, and they know goddamn well this is the case, after all, to do what they do. Not only that, but there was a video that was on Street People of Los Angeles. Go ahead, look up their Instagram. And in the video... It shows motherfuckers coming from the state of Arkansas, coming out here, fuck you, yeah, I'm an asshole, I don't like people, <laughs> that's why I'm right over here, because ain't nobody around, I be woken motherfuckers too, but anyways, that's my form of black magic, by the way, woken, anyways, 
go online, go on uh, streetpeopleoflosangeles.com. I'm probably going to put the clip at the end. And they have fucking some assholes from Arkansas who get out of a fucking car, which they could be living in if they choose to, and decide that they're going to fucking set up shop on the motherfucking beach in Venice Beach. And now you got some of them motherfuckers coming over here. You can kind of tell the energy from a mile away, but, you know, I've been doing energy work to keep the asses the fuck out. Because it's too much fucking riffraff. It's too much negativity. You know, it's too much orneriness. You know, orneriness coming out. Fuck, I just travel all the way from here to here. Fuck. You know, I'm the daughter of a uh, retired New Orleans police officer, so I have a very patrolling mentality. <laughs> I've always had one. You know, I'm very observant about things. I watch out. Um, I'm just like my parents who I'm extremely fucking antisocial. Now, with that being said, another thing I want to tell you, Tony, is I was looking at a fucking video that you have of Venice Beach going back 10 years ago. Now, in some of your fucking videos, oh, here's the thing in which I wanted to say. A lot of these motherfuckers are coming from out of state because they hear that the fucking laws are lax on fucking drugs and other fucking things, misdemeanors and all of that, whereas in other fucking places... The shit that they do out here would be considered a fucking felony. And that drugs are fucking plentiful because the laws are lax on it. That's why the motherfuckers come out here. It ain't like fucking innocent homeless people just lost their fucking home, you know, in the fucking housing crisis and decided, you know, hey, man, you know, I have no other choice but to sleep on the streets, you know, because shelters ain't accepting people. And look, I'm going to say it. I'm going to keep it real because I'm always fucking real. And I keep it one fucking hundred percent. Shelters are not good places. A lot of them. Look, I'm just going to say it like this. They are whole fucking industries, whole entire fucking industries. People go to these fucking shelters. They set up shopping these motherfuckers. Look, I mean, the owners that is, they set these motherfuckers up because it is a money racket. Everything that these shelters get is donated to them. They ain't got to worry about money. They ain't got to worry about food. Because all that shit gets donated to them. All they have to do is pay rent for the land. That's about it. That's their number one concern. Outside of that, that's about it. So they leave these shelters all fucked up. They have shit ass security guards who are just as fucking much a druggie as the next motherfucking nigga on the fucking street. It's a terrible fucking situation. It's volatile. You got motherfuckers getting stabbed in those motherfuckers, getting raped in those motherfuckers, and it's kept hush. And those people are pretty much treated like they're not shit. As a matter of fact, one time when um, I first became homeless and when I didn't know I, where I was going to go because I was staying with a motherfucker, it was just a fucking chain of uncertain, uh, fortunate circumstances, you know. A lot of this shit was spiritual too, to be honest with you. When I stayed in the mental home, mental uh, hospital overnight because you know I wanted to commit suicide because of a situation I was in and understandably so I remember bed bugs were biting at me and the lady there said you know hey what was you know what's going on you know don't say anything about that and I woke up the next morning with a fucking eye swollen like this so just imagine when you go to these funky ass homeless shelters they're full of fucking bed bugs they got you know it's bad now, the homeless uh, shelter I ended up staying at, it was like a living shelter was really, really nice. It was very fucking nice. It almost reminded me of my old neighborhood, except that it was poor. It was much poorer. And, um, you know, but you have to get those, you have to get into those via referral. You know, not anybody off the street can get into those motherfuckers as it should be because you got some volatile motherfuckers on these streets, you know, who don't get along. They can do damage in these motherfucking places. So you don't want them motherfuckers in. Now, another point in which I want to make about the homeless situation is, you know, aside from the fact that you're dealing with a situation where you got motherfuckers coming from out of state who are setting up shop over here because the weather is nice, number one. Number two, because there's a plenitude of drugs out here, just like you got in Portland. And number three, because they're lax on fucking law. So, you know, that's like a triple fucking perfect storm recipe to invite lowlifes to come out of here. You know, let's just keep it real. A 
a lot of these people who are on the streets you have a lot of those motherfuckers let me try to get my thoughts together all right here's where i wanted to get at a lot of those motherfuckers choose to be on the street so how the fuck do you handle that now look at the venice beach situation look i'm gonna say it right now the fucking lapd and the sheriffs need to be given permission to beat the fuck out of those motherfuckers if it was my fucking if i was in that if i was if it was up to me i'd be woken and beating the fuck out of motherfuckers and here's why they told them fucking nasty ass homeless putrid ass motherfuckers that they cannot set up shop on the motherfucking beach right but yet they still come there hoarding asses out there and set up motherfucking shop. Now your stuttering ass, you sitting up here caping for this bullshit, which makes you just as fucking guilty if something, you know, fucking bad happens to somebody because these fucking selfish ass motherfuckers decide they want to fucking set up shop. And you're seeing how fucking selfish these motherfuckers are in the form of them trying to whip your ass. You know, you had a white boy out there not too long ago, a homeless ass white boy trying to put hands because you talked about his fellow homeless ass cracker queen. So you see exactly what the poor people in Venice Beach are having to fucking put up with and why they want them motherfuckers out. As fucking liberal as those people once were, you know, tolerance of that bullshit can only go so fucking far. A lot of those motherfuckers are hoarders who carry, you know, it would be one thing if they were neat with their shit and they weren't doing no fucking drugs, but they're fucking nasty. They dirty, they bring pestilence, they bring atrocities, they bring crime. Ain't nobody want that motherfucking shit around. You know, people want to come out to the motherfucking beach, they want to enjoy themselves, they want to have a good time, they want to chill, they want to unwind from work and uh, trabajando, working. Uh, they don't want to have to go and see fucking and watch fucking bum fights, you know, something that was supposed to have ended in the motherfucking 90s. They don't want to come out there to fucking see that. And the reasonable people as you, like you, and fucking Peggy Kane, that old fat ass bitch, that's a nasty, she look like fucking German in Venice. Don't you fucking agree? Don't you think that fucking fat ass land will bitch look like motherfucking German in Venice? That's a big old fat nasty ass land will ass bitch. Better snatch stinks like a motherfucker. Oh, filthy, nasty ass. I bet she ain't fucking wiped her ass in fucking years, old fat, nasty asshole. I can't stand that bitch. I'm thinking about woking that bitch. I'm seriously thinking about woking that bitch because she need a good fucking woking. Y'all motherfuckers caping for that bullshit. You caping for these putrid ass motherfuckers. Regardless of what the fuck you say, regardless of that little bullshit ass disclaimer you say, well, not all homeless if they're on drugs and alcohol. No, take all of them motherfuckers off. You saying you down with the bullshit right there because you got motherfuckers who aren't on drugs, who aren't on alcohol, who just choose to fucking stay out there, who want to set up shop and hoard, have all their bullshit out there. You you caping for that by saying that, you dumbass motherfucker. You slow-ass, slow-witted-ass son of a bitch. I mean, you got these crazy ass fucking delusional ass motherfucking homeless ass motherfuckers setting on setting up shop on motherfucking public easements and shit on fucking public sidewalks. If you fucking display able, you can't even fucking cross the way. And I'm gonna tell you something else about homeless people as well. Me living in my van, for instance, this is another thing about homeless people. Many of them are fucking territorial. Now I may fucking go off on motherfuckers because again, I'm a shirtless woman. You get nasty, perverted motherfuckers like one motherfucker. I kind of fucking. I at one point fucking let go and I shouldn't have fucking done that shit. Old nasty motherfucker pulled out his motherfucking uh, penis and started playing with it. So I threw a fucking rock at his ass. He had his dog with him. I threw a rock at that little motherfucker too. And I put woke on his ass and I saw through my motherfucking third eye that the bitch, I fucked him up so motherfucking bad spiritually. He ended up, um, he ended up running the fucking church. I got his ass all fucked up and I'm not a very fucking forgiving person. I'm very fucking vindictive. Very fucking vindictive. You don't want to fuck with me. Like, why the fuck? I mean, of all the fucking places motherfucker can park, why the fuck park there? Why the fuck park there? Now, they, see, that's not me being territorial. That's me being observant. Yo, you're about to 
They hit that fucking RV. That's my friend's RV. Fuck you doing? Get your ass stupid ass out. That's not me being territorial. That's me just scoping and noticing a nasty ass motherfucker trying to set up shot because you want to see it straight this way. You got me fucked up. You know, I'm very keen to that shit. I'm very sensitive to that shit. And I call that shit out. Especially with myself, you know, being the daughter of a cop and, you know, just growing up hearing about crimes and watching crime shows and shit. You know, you got to be very careful as a woman. One thing you did say that's absolutely fucking correct is that when you're a woman on the street, you got to watch out. So I say fucking correct them motherfuckers. It may come off as territorial, but what it is, is it's a defense mechanism for me. Because I know this, like I can tell, you know, by people's energy signatures. Because some people can read that shit. Not everybody can, but I'm one of those people. I'm super hypersensitive to things. Um, I can tell, you know, when the person's just innocent, they just... But, you know, why are you going to fucking set up shop? What up, bro? Hey, man, how you doing, brother? I see that they came here early in the morning. <laughs> you know, him and his girl, I guess they got a new little car. I was like, who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? You know, very, they, you know, very quiet, just quiet. I know I'm making noise right now. Everything just quiet. I think I knew that fucking dude in the fucking white uh, thing. I think I know who he is. Because if he is who I think he is, he all right. He's not bad. But, you know, you, you have to kind of, you know, especially if you're a woman, especially if you like me. I had to tell a motherfucking uh, friend of mine I had to straighten his ass out early in the fucking day because he was like, oh, you know, you jumping on people. There's a method to my motherfucking madness. If I didn't do as I normally do, people would be uh, all over my shit, taking advantage of me, thinking that they got the right to rape me and so and so and so. And the stronger my aura gets, the stronger my soul gets, you know, I notice that the less I attract energy vampires. That's why, you know, look, as a spiritualist, I'm going to say it right now. It's important to fucking heal. Healing is very important. That's why, you know, in part, in large part, I choose to live in my van, you know, because I have to heal. And I've been healing the fuck out of myself, you know, healing like, you know, a really strong inner wound that's been there forever, for a very long time, that needs to be wound up. So it tends, you know, out of protection for that, you know, it tends to, you know, you, you got to protect yourself. You know, it brings out that patrolling nature, patrolling nature out of me. And I've been getting a lot better. Um, now, with that being said, you get a lot of these motherfuckers that be coming out there blocking fucking public sidewalks, defecating, urinate, because where the fuck else are they going to go? It's inhumane as many people have been proselytizing to leave them motherfuckers on the streets. Like, for instance, you know, I live in my van. I choose to. My van is my home, but I got a piss bucket in there. So, you know, I accumulate the piss and I throw it in the porta potty right there. And if I have to take a number two, if I got to take a shit... I shit the porta potty. But you look, you get some of these drugged out motherfuckers that be fucked up on fentanyl and shit. They be high off of fentanyl. Where else are they gonna fucking go if they have to do a number two and there's no porta potties around? What do you do about that? What do you do about situations like that? Where do you go? Where do you run to? Like that song from the 90s. Where do you go? Where are you going? Like Dave Matthews band would say, Where are you going? If you need to take a number two and shit, where do you go? So, you know, you have to think about the logistics and the perspectives and the specs on all of those things. And that's something that these so-called fucking homeless advocates don't take into account. They just selfishly want to push an agenda. Look, I'm going to keep it real white right now. And this is probably the last thing in which I'm going to drop. The homeless situation is what many could call, right, and rightfully so, the homeless industrial complex. The reason why 
damn part let all these homeless fucking people on the damn streets is because the politicians, number one, don't give a fuck. Homelessness is a massive business. I cannot tell you when I stayed at a shelter one time how much motherfucking money homeless shelter owners make. It's a big, gigantic fucking racket. Again, as I said before in the video, all the shit that they get is donated to them. They don't have to worry about coming out of their own pocket to supply food, supply water, supply everything, anything, because it's all donated. And not only that, here's the fucking kicker. They get paid $3,000 per bed or per person that stays with them. Like when I've stayed in places like that, they would try, even if they felt I was difficult, to utterly and confoundingly keep me there because they make money off of people being there. They don't really give a fuck about the person. They don't really give a fuck about putting the person back on their fucking feet. It's all about the money. And that's where both sides, in my personal opinion, see, this is why it's very, very important to get reality here. This is where they both don't fucking get it. They both don't fucking get that the homeless situation is a wreck. You wonder why you got all these fucking actorvists, as I call them. They're not activists. They're actorvists coming out here caping for impossible, preposterous fucking stands. It's like the pro-life movement, for instance. I revealed on my blog that um, that the motherfuckers are front for child trafficking because uh, there was an article that came out showing that Mother Teresa's fucking thing. Now, she was one of them fucking nuts that pushed the whole pro-life agenda, telling these fucking women in fucking Mumbai, India, to have unwanted babies that, you know, they can't sell and all this other shit. I mean, that they, uh, that they, they can't afford and all this other shit. It's a racket. They make money off of that shit. They're, they're big. The pro-life movement is big into child trafficking. You can go ahead and look it up on my blog, toplessinla.org. Look up Costco Girl. You know, they, they sell these babies. They want unwanted babies because the babies can't be accounted for when they sell these children on the black market for adrenochrome. Because, you know, the fucking Catholic Church is involved in all sorts of satanic shit. And uh, I think my friend today was saying something about... Uh, the Vatican um, buying unwanted kids. So they're, they're, they're big into all of this fucking satanic, or as I call it, Saturnian ass bullshit. They're big into all of that. That devious ass, demonic ass shit. That's why they fucking cave for the rights of a fucking fetus, a clump of cells, a non person, a t literal parasite over a person. It's the same thing with the fucking homeless situation. They don't use that money to build new shelters. The worse it looks, the worse the situation is, the more they can ask the fucking federal government for money to stop the homeless situation, help the homeless situation. Now, years ago, I don't know if y'all remember this, but there was a story done on um, Reason TV about a young man. His name was Elvis Summers. And Elvis Summers was a young man who straight out, out of his own fucking pocket foot the bill to create tiny homes for the homeless that looked a lot better and a lot more impressive than fucking tents. Guess what the city did? They came down on this fucking man and shut this poor man down. Even though he planned to have the fucking tents on private fucking property. You can go ahead and look it up. Why is that? It's because they don't really give a fuck about solving the homeless situation. The more homeless numbers they have, the more they can demand money from the fucking federal government and get money from the federal government, which goes into their personal coffers. That's why Gavin Newsom, governor here, don't give a fuck. Pretty boy Floyd, that is. That's why he don't give a fuck about the homeless situation. That's why he ain't trying to solve it because it's fucking money. It's straight up motherfucking money. That's why, let's say the motherfucking name, um, you know, all of these fucking people, you know, the fucking uh, Mayor Garcetti, that's why he don't give a fuck about solving the situation. You know, even though I fucking live in a van and I know a fucking guy who live on the street and we both say the same thing, that something needs to be done is too fucking bad. And we're both fucking homeless people saying that shit, you know, so you know that there's a fucking problem. Anytime. Sorry about that. It fucking cut off, unfortunately. But as I was saying before. That's why it's an epidemic 
And that's why you motherfuckers can't get reason to these motherfuckers. You know, because a lot of the people who are pushing for the quote unquote rights of the homeless are really selfish motherfuckers who want money for themselves. And I'm going to tell you something else as well. I'm going to drop some knowledge. The person who started all this shit, her name is Carol Sobel. There was a time where in the fucking city, they used to push them motherfuckers and tell them, bitch, you got to get the fuck on. We, we ain't having all this. You ain't going to be setting up shop over you. Ain't, you ain't setting up no tent. We ain't having none of this. None of that shit. We ain't had none of that shit. I think Tiny Homes would be cute, actually, if they're going to go that route, by the way. But there was a time where they weren't putting up with that. Carol Sobel, I believe her name is that, came along and basically was the one who launched the presidents the civil rights cases for the court that basically got the fucking cops and even the politicians as well, hands tied. A couple of days ago, I was at the airport courthouse and I looked down out the window and saw a fucking homeless encampment. It's sad. It's really fucking abysmally fucking sad. But yet you got these motherfuckers that cape for it and push for it. And I'm going to tell you something else. You think it's bad already, you ain't seen nothing yet. Just wait till that fucking rent moratorium fucking ends. You ain't seen nothing. It's going to get even fucking 10 times worse. Now, I can go and fucking philosophize all fucking day long, but I'm going to tell you something right now. There's something called the Great Reset. You need to look it up. The Great Reset. I'm going to drop some knowledge here. The grand purpose, the grand scheme behind why they're doing this shit is something called, is for something called the Great Reset. Look it up. And basically, as part of the Great Reset, what they're trying to do is, is that they're trying to corral all the people, get them into the cities, because, look, not too long ago, people, when people started to try to live off-grid and shit, back in 2011, when that was a big thing back then, they were throwing people in jail for having, like, you know, setting up homesteads and, you know, setting up shop and all this other stuff in here and there, and they were fucking people over back then. As part of the Great Reset, they want to corral all the people to live in cities, high-rise apartments and all of that. Basically rely on public transport transportation. And they're going to put you on a stipend. See, those whole stimuluses? That was a forerunner. A, a forerunner for what is known as universal basic income. They're going to start giving everybody universal basic income. They already, they're practicing with the child stipends now. They're trying to set up things to where people don't have to work anymore. You can sit at home. See, we're, we're in the beginning stages of the future. The future that we used to envision as children, the shit's coming to fruition now. They're implementing it. We're in the fucking future. They're giving out those stipends as a front runner for universal basic income. Amazon.com and a few companies are going to be the leads. They're going to be the ones providing all the goods and services that society needs. That's why they're shutting down the mom and pop businesses. Because in the future, with companies like Amazon, it's just going to be fucking robots working. It ain't going to be no fucking human beings. That's why they're in the fucking process of perfecting AI, artificial intelligence. Kind of reminds you of the Terminator, don't it? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That looks fucking spooky. That's why they're in the process of fucking perfecting that. Perfecting AI. Because they're getting y'all motherfuckers set up for that. For that future. Now, there was a Star Trek episode that came out in 1997. It's very well uh, renowned. And it shows Captain Picard and the other guy on the streets of San Francisco in the year, somewhere around this time frame, actually. And there's, like, homeless people all the fucking around. And there's, like, an entire district of homeless people where they kept away from regular rich people. And so it's believed that that kind of, that episode acts as a predictor for the future. That that's how things are going to end up. A lot of people going to be out on the motherfucking streets. A lot of people going to be homeless. 
With no fucking food in their mouth, you know, fucked up. And that's where they plan on sending y'all motherfuckers. That's why they started giving out the stipends. That's why they're not, I mean, they're not quick to help out fucking businesses. They want businesses to go down. They want the mom and pop businesses to go down. And I've also been hearing something about, and I think I may have had stock in motherfuckers too, BlackRock. BlackRock is a real estate company. It's a REIT, R-E-I-T, that supposedly, just like other Chinese corporations, have been buying up a lot of fucking, uh, you know, are trying to buy up a lot of American properties like they've been doing in Canada. And so what they're trying to do is fuck people over so they can buy the motherfucking property cheap by running people out of their homes, making people want to leave Los Angeles and set up the market to where they buy up, you know, pretty much the fucking United States and the Chinese are going to run everything just like they do in fucking Vancouver, Canada. So that's another thing to take into account behind why you got the fucking homeless crisis. It's a very nuanced situation. But in all in all, on the practical level, they shouldn't have all them fucking people on the streets. You can't have motherfuckers like that. You know, that's just, it's not logical. And not only is it not logical, it's not right. It's not humane. You know, a lot of those motherfuckers, again, as they've been doing for years, and it's just, it's gotten worse. They're coming from out of the fucking state. They're not from here. Don't have any roots here whatsoever. And they're setting up shop just like that little girl. What was her name? April Sunshine or whatever the fuck her name was. From uh, Oklahoma, Oregon, I believe it was. They're coming out here setting up shop. Because they hear that they got fucking plentiful drugs. They ain't got to worry about going to jail for committing crimes. And everything gets given to them for free by the fucking homeless industrial complex. That's another thing, you know. Social services is... They're not fucking around out here. You know, they be giving motherfucking shit and, you know, it's true. It's absolutely fucking true. And there was somebody on uh, Street People of Los Angeles who captured that shit on tape. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this. And in the video, in the end, I'm going to go ahead and show you video of some homeless people coming out here from Arkansas or Alabama, one of those states and setting up a home on the fucking beach. Y'all motherfuckers gotta fucking understand nuances and that's for both sides.